Hello everyone. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why the cardiac muscle is not getting fatigued even after continuously working. All of us know that the heart is not under rest; it is constantly beating. Even though it has a relaxation period, still it is constantly beating throughout one person's life. And how is this happening? What is the potential of the heart which is able to do these things? And we already discussed the cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized. That is a different question. But here they are talking about the fatigability. Why the cardiac muscle is not getting fatigued? So let's try to understand the several reasons behind it. So first thing is it has a high mitochondrial content, and all of us know that mitochondria is like the powerhouse of the cell. And because of its high mitochondrial content, it is constantly able to generate more and more energy without getting fatigued. And next thing is, it has high aerobic capacity. Because of this aerobic nature, with the supply of oxygen is adequate, it can constantly pump for a very, very, very long time. And that is why, whenever there is a decrease in the oxygen supply, it is going for an infarction. But under resting condition or normal conditions, it has high aerobic capacity, which is one of the reasons to make it pump without getting fatigued. And it also has high myoglobin content. What is this myoglobin? Is myoglobin is like a protein which is like a hemoglobin. Here, the myoglobin binds to one molecule of oxygen. But at the same time, whenever the oxygen concentration depletes in the tissue, what is going to happen? This myoglobin has the ability to release its oxygen and supply the oxygen to the muscle. And cardiac muscle, since it is having a high myoglobin content, whenever there is a slight decrease in the oxygen content, what is going to happen? This myoglobin is going to release oxygen from its attached form and supply the tissue. And it has electrical synapses. One beautiful thing about this electrical synapses are they are connected by the gap junctions. And because of this, impulse from one cell can be transmitted to the other cell at a rapid rate, not only at a rapid rate, and with less requirement of energy. And this is one beautiful nature of the cardiac muscle, wherein it is able to function like a synchytium because of the electrical synapses, and energy consumption is also very very minimal. And it has an extensive blood supply. And even though it has an extensive blood supply, even a slightest compensation also can go in for a myocardial infarction. And again, at a resting condition, if the vessel wall is completely fine, the person is going to have an adequate supply amount of blood to the cardiac muscle, thereby preventing its fatigue nature. So these are the reasons why which the cardiac muscle is not getting fatigued. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see in the next video.